Hello, this is Renier Torenbeek, and welcome back to the OpenSplice DDS Power Tools demo, part 2. In this part, I will show you how to edit the QoS settings of any DDS entity. I will walk with you through some generated code, and I will show you how to use that generated code in an example application and run that application. The last step of the previous part of the demo consisted of the command export module. This has created a new project called quickdemo.value application, which we are going to explore now. We are particularly interested in these two created packages, source and generated. Zooming into generated, we see two packages called quickdemo and value example. And value example actually contains the set of classes that correspond to the type specific DDS entities. We see the definition of the types itself themselves in Java the type-specific data readers, data writers, and some type support classes. If you have done DDS before, you will recognize those, because these will also be generated when you are not doing power tools. Then there is also another package, Quick Demo, which is specific for power tools. It contains two classes, Value Application and Value Topic, and if we zoom into Value Application, we will recognize the structure that we just created in our diagram. First of all, we see the value application, which is a class that contains several methods, and also one um, member called value participant. This participant on its turn contains, again, several method members and a value publisher. We recognize the structure that we built when we, when we created the diagram. The value publisher on its turn contains the value writer, and this is the endpoint of the whole structure. The entry point for the set of classes is the value application class. This is the one that we will be importing and using in our own application. Let's take a look at the source code. Value application itself has only one class called start. It doesn't do that much except for delegating the start method to its value participant. Remember that the value participant was owned by the value application, which we could see in the diagram that we created. The start method of the value participant is more interesting. It, for example, creates the participant, which essentially creates the connection to the DDS middleware. Also, it sets default publisher and subscriber QSs, and on its turn delegates the start method to its, values pu to its value publisher. The value publisher sets default QS settings and delegates the start method to the value writer. The value writer is the last class in the hierarchy, it's the leave, so it doesn't delegate anymore. But what we do see here is, for example, the getDataWriterQS methods. That's an interesting one. If we zoom into it, we see all the different settings for all these QS settings that we saw when we were editing the DataWriterQS. If we take a look at the priority, transport priority, we still we see its value is still zero. It's interesting to see what happens if I regenerate the code and see if it then changes the value. So let's do that now. Export module. We have to wait for a while. There we go. And there it is. We see the value of 100 now. Writing code for all these QS settings is generally non-creative. It's a tedious process. So using the power tools, you don't have to do this anymore. It saves you a lot of effort and it will boost your productivity. Finally, I will show you how to use the generated code in your own application. I will create a simple DDS writer application in the package source. This package is never touched by the code generation process, so this is where you are supposed to, edit your, to insert your own code. I will create a new class here. I'll call it demo application and I'll insert it in a package called my apps. In the meantime, I created some code that we're going to copy paste now. First, it contains some import methods, sorry, import statements to import the correct classes. And then 
contains a few lines of code that I'm copying into the main routine. The code is quite, quite straightforward. It will create a writer, and that writer will write some sine, as wa sine wave to the middleware. We see some parameters here. Sine frequency is telling us that we are writing one wave per second. 20 samples per wave. We'll do it 100 times, and the wave will have an amplitude of 50. The only thing we have to do here to use the generated code is refer to the value application and call the start method. As a result, all the con contained entities will be created as well. Then after this has been created, we will grab the DDS writer by referring to the value application dot value participant dot value publisher dot value writer dot get data writer. And this method gives us the actual DDS data writer. From here on, we can start doing our own stuff. We'll create a new sample, and then we go into the loop where we print a statement. We'll calculate several values, and then for every value, call the write method on the writer value, on the value writer. A short sleep, and then we'll go into the next value. Finally, two print lines to, so, to show that we're done. So quite a simple application, and you see that we don't have to do any, any real DDS programming here. It's just starting the application and grabbing the data writer. Let's see what happens if we run this application. Starting power to's value demo application. It seems to be running. And in the meantime, I created a reader using the OpenSplice tuner. So let's take a look what's happening there. First, a quick peek into the different topics. And indeed, the quick demo value topic has been discovered by the tuner. Then go to the reader and we can read the values that have been written by this value application. I'll get the first 50 samples, and indeed we see here all the different sign values that have been written. So this proves that the application is actually working the way we're expecting, and it still keeps on writing until hundreds of sine waves have been created. Well, we're not going to wait for all of these, but this simple demonstration shows how easy it is to write an application, a DDS application, using the power tools. So far for this demo, I hope you enjoyed it, and please check out our other videos on the OpenSplice tube, or even better, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more videos. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me on the email address that you can see on the right bottom of the screen.